Hey YouTube, this is Pamela. This is Craft and Commentary. And what you see here is a giant three ring binder. I think it's a three inch. And uh, in here is, as you can see, my collection of tools I use for my jelly plate. And I kind of made a video about this before, but it wasn't as comprehensive as what I'm going to do right now. And what do we got here? Let's start at the beginning. Uh, what you need for jelly plate printing is texture. And here we have uh, the Fiskars uh, texture plates. And these are uh, used for these type of machines I'm not familiar with. You folks know better than I. Uh, some of these I seriously use uh, a lot in my jelly plate. And uh, click around at my page, subscribe, and uh, you're going to see these textures used on my jelly plate monoprint art. And uh, I just got done with <laughs> a project. It took me three weeks of working in sometimes I, I hate to admit because I get very intense about these things. I was working like <laughs> on this project. Let me just tell you the, the dimensions. Well first let me get, get you introduced here. These are my leaf my leaf um, rubbing plates, they call them. And I got these on qu at Quill, and I have no less 15 of these. You see? Let's put it against there, maybe. You can see it. So I have 15 different leaf texture plates, rubbing plates, they call them. Actually, kids use these. They put them under a piece of paper, and then they take uh, a, uh, a crayon, and then they rub on them. And then they include this. I mean, for you mothers out there uh, with small children, uh, it, it's a great way to look to learn the leaves. So I also have these for the flowers. I quickly show those. Same deal. Here's my flowers. And these cost, uh, the leaves I got 15, these I got a dozen. I lost one on for the hydrangea one I lost, which was probably my favorite. <laughs> uh, okay, next. These I got, I believe, at Michael's. And uh, these textures are just fantastic. Again, you know, go in the kids section sometimes and you're going to find great textures and used with vibrant paints and in an artistic way and you're you're very much in business so that's that these this is the fun foam okay and it's already uh, it has an impression these have impression on them so that's a little different there's just my collection of like old credit card kind of stuff uh, that you can use. Here are my small uh, stencils. These I love. I just love these. You'll see all of these used. And I discovered that Murphy's oil paint is the best way to clean these, okay? I learned that from Journal uh, Artista. I believe her name is. Thank you. And uh, these are great texture plates, or rather to, um, stencils. And you'll see all of these used in my art. And let me get back to what I was mentioning, the dimensions of the, the book. I used Coptic Stitch. Let's see, my best way to see that. Um, these are my, my stencil collection. 
which uh, I've invested in because, um, well, you know, sometimes when you really are dedicated to an idea, and I love jelly plate monoprinting, and you can see a video. Um, I've shown that I make my own. I, here are the larger ones. Here are my larger um, stencils. These aren't as clean. I have to put these in the Murphy's oil paint. Oil um, uh, cleaner, it's called. And you soak for, you know, at least a full day. And this old paint will come right on off. So the dimensions of my, my big um, monster uh, art journal it's sort of hard to believe, but I'm about to do a video on it and do a page uh, flip. Is eight by eight by eight with literally 1,440 pages, 45 signatures, and it's Coptic stitch. And I can't wait to show that off. Okay, here are all of my scrapers. Um, I use, these are the Martha Stewart style, and this uh, was just from Kitchen Supply at a local hardware store, and this is specifically for, also, um, these scrapers are specifically for jelly plate printing. This is Catalyst, the Catalyst brand, and uh, I have five Catalyst brand. These are kind of like... Kind of they, they don't have any other purpose. A lot of times you want to have a multi-purpose uh, item, you know, so that it doesn't just do one thing. But in that case, that's what that does. It's for one thing and one thing only. That is for jelly plate um, printing. Um, these I got it at uh, Michael's. They were on sale, and I think that what you use these are you. They come in a pad of paper, and I have four different styles. And they came in a pad, and I and I what you do with these is that you make a page out of them for for journaling, um, for decoration. But I says, well, wow, that's a stencil. <laughs> that's what I call a stencil. And this one's got the butterfly, and this one is the beautiful flowers. And I've used all of these. And some of these I don't use as stencils. I use actually use as stamps. So um, do use your stencils as stamps. And here are uh, two brands. I'll tell you the truth, I do not know what brand this is. I do not know where I got these. I think I got them on eBay. I can't really tell you anything about them, unfortunately. But I've used these. These are the best. They make great, great, great uh, textures in your jelly plate. So I've been a bit of a connoisseur of these textures. I probably spent at least $100 on, on some of these, but not much. It's not a whole lot in the big scheme of things. Um, because I buy on eBay and I buy on my bargain shop. And here I have uh, Cedar Canyon. Um, and these are rubbing plates. Search rubbing plates on eBay and you'll find. I, mean, I have the, the um, triangle, I believe the triangles. Um, I don't really care for them so much. But I tell you what, I love the floral. The floral is just out of sight. These were a bit pricey, but they were worth every penny. Also, with these rubbing plates, sometimes they come with plastic extended. I cut it out. I cut, I cut it away because, just like any stamp, you don't want excess uh, to show um, to make a stamp. And finally, um, these are some of the best. And against your jelly plate, your uh, your silicone slab, in the case of you know a real jelly jelly arts jelly plate. The, commercial brand, which I also have. Um, I make my own, but I also, um, these things, and this, I have a technique where I just, I, I uh, roll out some ink on a separate jelly plate, and I, I ink it up, and then I just, I, I actually hit it 
down on the jelly plate and then I make an impression. So I have to make a tutorial on that. Um, thank you for watching. This is Pamela. This is Craft and Commentary. And uh, subscribe, thumbs up. Bye-bye.